Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Jacob Dev.、Uh, today's topic is Microsoft Trellis, a AI-powered image to 3D generation framework, which is awesome. So if you go to their GitHub page, there's a lot of、uh, README to、uh, tell you what it does, how it looks like, and it's basically a structured 3D latents for scalable and versatile 3D generation.、Um, So there's a lot of、uh, steps here, but I think it's very complicated, and also because it's actually built on a older Conda, so it's CUDA、uh, 11.8, so it's not like latest 12 versions. So there's a lot of、uh, issues when you try to set it up.、Uh, so eventually,、uh, you can set up something like this, which I already did. You can see.、Um, Basically, this is actually only in Grok、uh, link, so it's public. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna show you guys how to build this step by step on Kaggle Notebook for free.、Uh, so that being said, let's get started. So before we get started, so to use this, you just、uh, upload the image and click generate. It will generate a image or a video 3D assets like that, which is cool, right? So let's、uh, get started with the Kaggle Notebook. So if you create a notebook, first、uh, just do a git clone of the repo and then cd to the repo,、um, and then we basically have to update the、um, system packages. So do an apt update, but also you need to set a non-interactive、um, and also the、um, esq, mean, meaning basically you bypass all this prompt, and also you need to install CUDA 11.8. So this is very important. So we don't.、Um, We cannot actually use it、uh, if you don't install、uh, CUDA 11.8. So if you install CUDA 12, they will not work. So,、uh, so let's continue. So if you、uh, after you install, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. After everything is installed,、uh, check the NCVV version. So、uh, at this point, I believe that's still gonna be 12.3. That's what Kaggle supports.、Uh, but what you want is 11.8. So as you can see here, after all the updates, it's going to be 11.8. So how to make it 11.8? Let's continue. So first, you have to、uh, basically do a path in,、uh, export. So we're going to do this step later, but、uh, do the path export so that you have the、uh, CUDA 11.8 beam folder. So this folder in the path. So after that, make sure、um, you also be able to check this、uh, NCVV version here. So it's、uh, use the local CUDA. So all the CUDA Versions, different CUDA versions are going to be installed in user local. So right now,、uh, basically this is the default one that、uh, Kaggle uses. So make sure this is has the right version. Also, you can see this actually also point to 11 point. We're not there yet, but this is something you have to check you know, before you、uh, install everything else. So this will be also 12 point three, I believe. But after everything is set up, it's going to be 11 point eight. So. This also useful for other virtual box if you follow the same steps,、um, so it should be the same.、Uh, but we're、uh, basically build this on Kaggle. So and then、um, what you want to do later to change everything to 11.8 is to update alternatives. So because the Kaggle is a Debian system, I believe that's Ubuntu or Debian. So you can do、uh, update alternatives and make sure that you、uh, can see all the CUDA packages. After that,、uh, just do a soft link. From this etc alternatives CUDA to user local CUDA. So basically, this will link the default CUDA、uh, to the alternatives CUDA. Then you can actually switch、uh, the alternatives to point to 11.8 instead of 12.3. So after you do the soft link here,、uh, you basically can check、uh, the alternatives list of CUDA. Right? You can see that actually these、uh, alternatives have 11.8 and 12.3. So both versions are available. So then you have to choose one, and to choose one, you have to do update alternatives to set CUDA to this、uh, CUDA 11.8. So the default is 12.3. It's not work with the.、Uh, it's not going to work with Charles. So make sure to do update alternatives point to 11.8, and then after that,、uh, check the、uh, alternatives CUDA. So that will see.、Uh, you should be able to see this. Right, so the CUDA is pointing to the right version that you want to use, and then that's all the CUDA setup you need. Make sure your CUDA is point to 11.8, not the default version. If you、um, want to point to different versions, just install a different version in this step. Right, so if you do a different project,、uh, just、uh, probably they want a CUDA 12.6 or 12.4.、Um, 
change that, follow the same steps, then you should be able to uh, install the right CUDA and point the right CUDA with the Kego TPU. So let's continue uh, where we left. So after you uh, install the right version of the CUDA, which is the important step, uh, you make sure also the uh, Torch version is also correct. The PyTorch is 2.4. So luckily, uh, Kego, the default uh, PyTorch on Kego is 2.4. So you don't have to update anything, but if you do, make sure um, you do a uh, pp install uh, with the right PyTorch version uh, using the index URL. You can see my other videos, they have some of the introduction on that. Uh, also, you can search it on Google. And after you set up everything, uh, now it's time to uh, install this demo, which uh, will install the Gradle dependencies. So just run a setup the dash demo. And then here's the steps, just uh, install the ungrok. We demo this many times. Follow these steps to turn all everything out from the notebook to the public URL, which is something that we see here. So this is 3D2A. So after everything is set up, you can see that's 3D2A. This is going to point to your local Gradle port, which is 7860. So this is the exact demo we're seeing here. And then uh, you make, sh make sure that you install all those dependencies. Right? Make sure you don't use, use a new environment. They have this in the new environment. Don't do that. This will actually install uh, something that you probably don't want. And also, it's going to install Conda environment. But Kato, Kago already has Conda. So it's all uh, set up with Conda. So you don't need to install Conda. So uh, just uh, remove that from the readme here. So you don't need new environment. And you might not even need the flash attention, but uh, don't install the new environment. That's the most important thing. Don't install that. After that, uh, then make sure you actually also want to change this attention backend to Xformers. So the default is not the default. Uh, the default, I believe, that's uh, uh, using different GPU. So basically, I'm saying the attention backend. The default is using the flash attention. So uh, it's, it's on a different GPU, not in VS GPU. So uh, make sure that you turn this on. So it, this is gonna wire up the NVIDIA GPU. And then make sure that use Xformers. Then you run the Python app.py. So then you will basically see everything is spin up. So the Gradle spin up on port 7860. They also have a public PR, but don't click on that. It's, uh, Kego doesn't support that. Then you can see that everything is running, right? Everything's loading, is running. And you can see here, that's what we already tested, right? So that's how you set it up on Kego. Uh, so you can actually work on it and uh, for yourself, all right? So this is how you gonna uh, install and build Chalice on a Kaggle notebook for free and with a free GPU. So this is actually a really good project, so I think it's helpful to you guys. So uh, anyway, so if you do think this is helpful, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and uh, see you in the next one.